Hey everyone, Aver Pilot here, and today we're going to be looking at another Transformer figure from Hasbro and Takara Tomei. And this time it's Starscream from Shattered Glass. Now, Shattered Glass is a comic series, which I've already read uh, all of Shattered Glass 1. Which was like, I think, six comics. But uh, if, you've no if you've noticed, mine has a little bit of a defect to it. One of the legs, the knee cap area, isn't painted for some reason. Very strange. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I like it still. It, it kind of gives, because it's supposed to be like a, I guess you could call it like a, a post-apocalyptic version of Cybertron. Kind of. It, it's, it's cool. You'd have to read the story, but we'll get into that later. If you look over here. Just says Starscream, a nice photo of him, or drawing, and then here, same thing. And of course, the top, you just get a little window, and then the back. See, he has two swords, he can turn into a Cybertonian uh, jet, I don't know what that really is. But there is a little bit of a uh, writing there. I see, it says, Starscream, a brilliant Decepticon scientist. Grimly invents new weapons with the hope of one day bringing peace and an end to the war. You know, I have to say, that description doesn't quite line up with what I've read. Uh, he didn't really make any weapons. But, yeah, let's get this open and uh, take a closer look. Alright, well here's Starscream. Now, he did come with stuff, came with directions. And I like the colors, it has the like dark blue, and then it goes into like that purplish pink and the directions eh, yeah I've seen better looking ones but these ones are still good like I said I love the colors on here I like the colors of the box too yeah, I just think it's really cool now he also came with weapons also so he's got two of his null rays and these you know just go right in his hands Like so. Or, as I will have them, they can go right up on his shoulders. You know, the way Starscream usually has them. That's nice. And he also came with this giant sword. Fit right in his hand there. Pretty good, and it stays in there nice and snug, but you can actually separate it. And now you got two of them. There. And that's really what he uses more in the comic. I, I'm having a hard time remembering, and I just finished reading it yesterday. But. Yeah, he uses the swords more than he does his null rays. Pretty cool, though. I like those. And it has that clear plastic, well, clear blue plastic. And he also has that for his cockpit. And he's got a little window here. Now, there are some problems with it, which I'm not sure if it's when they made it or because I got it off eBay. I mean, it was new in the package, unopened and everything. It had all the security tags, keeping him in place and everything. But, uh, I was noticing that there's some discoloration. So, like, I don't know how well that's going to be shown, but right here, right here, this little piece. And then, for the one that's really noticeable, right there. I don't know if it's supposed to have that yellow. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure... I don't know. It came from a home of a smoker. I can't tell. There might be a way to clean it up. And I might have to do that. But I'm not too worried about it right now. Because it's still a nice figure. And plus those pieces are in the back anyway. Not really going to be seen. So I'm not worried. The reason I like these so much. though, All the shattered glass figures have a different... Art deco to them and the roles reverse so Decepticons are actually good and Autobots are 
like tyrants and everything like they have gangs and stuff so really interesting uh, just like in the early early g1 uh his backstory was he was a scientist with a uh, jet stream jet stream or jet fire i can never remember but yeah the uh the taller one and he actually still does that they find like a titan transformer and uh yeah that's the whole story is kind of based off of that and it's really cool. Uh, yeah, Megatron is in it. Bumblebee, he's now Goldbug. Optimus Prime's there. It, I, su I suggest reading it. It is a good story. So Star Surgeon here is, he's mainly white. And he's got reds, blacks, blues. And that's it. But one cool thing is the uh, Decepticon logo is no longer purple. It is red. So let's talk about some articulation. We got the head. They can go around. You can look up and then straight. His head does have a little bit of a tilt. All right, so articulation. We got the head. They can go all the way. He has a little bit of a tilt that he can do. And he can look up. And straight, not down. So we got the arms. Now the arms cannot go all the way because of the wing back here. But if the wing wasn't there, it would be able to. And he's also got shoulder pivot. And then right up here, his arm can twist. And he has double jointed elbows. So get a nice bend like that. And then we got the hands. All they can do is twist. Then we got the waist, just like the arms, uh, can't go all the way around because the parts in the back are preventing that. But you can do a split pretty good. And then you can put his leg forward. That can go past 90. Back can't really do because again the piece is back there preventing it from moving. But right here, you can twist around. They've got single jointed knee, but it goes pretty far in. So the feet can move forward, back, and they can tilt side to side. And then we got the back. So we've got the wings here. They can be flat down, or you can rotate them out. And then the last thing they do, they can flap. All right, so why don't we put them in his alt form and look at that. Well, I'm not a big fan of this vehicle mode that it goes into. Uh, I know they do that with a lot of the Seekers, just make this. I really like it when it's the jet planes, though. But, I mean, it's still cool looking. So he's got his two null rays, and then he's got the two swords, which make it look real nice. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy. The wings clipped into place. The nose does, so nothing's coming loose, and it also has like no mobility. Uh, yeah, so nothing, nothing moves on it since it doesn't have wheels. Uh, yeah, it just sits there. All right, well, it's just been my review of Transformers Shattered Glass Starscream. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, you all have yourselves a good one, and I will see you. Later.